Now that the plane has landed, they have their wings. Lisbon, Portugal will be the brand new home of the Afghan National Institute of Music. I'm very, very happy. Fresh from a charter flight offered to them all the remaining students, staff, some families now finally safe, their beloved instruments in tow. The man with the extraordinary smile, Ahmad Sarmas, the founder of the school. A man whose heart sank when the Taliban swarmed and took over his treasured school in August. He vowed to save it and its students and didn't stop working until he succeeded. I'm extremely excited. I'm extremely moved. The most beautiful day of my life. My children, who are like my own kids, I'll be welcoming them in their new home. What he always wanted was for the world to hear them. Davos, Switzerland in 2017, and Zora, Afghanistan's first all-women's orchestra. The percussionist right there, her name is Shigofa. As hard as it was to leave her dad and family, she told us before the flight to Portugal that leaving was her only option. I told them that um, there's just only reason I have to leave country because my life is in danger. And after that, uh, and I said to them that I want to continue my music and my life is not safe. In time, those remaining families may reunite in Portugal and that new school will also become an Afghan art center and voice for the nation. The moment is heady. And from a student who left Afghanistan just a few months ago, is now studying in the U.S., some gentle advice for her friends. Be kind to themselves. They don't know when they're going to see their families again, which is like a really big deal for them. But then my advice is that like they're like they're not alone. It was donors from around the world who paid the way for this. Portugal that opened the doors. And they hope one day Afghanistan that will ultimately benefit from the music and the love of those who've left it, but will never abandon it. <laughs>